Boy, man, that tasted terrible. <laughs> That's me. I apologize. I just had something to eat that I didn't really like. But let's go back to the beginning. It was sort of like a rainy day in Berkeley, but I decided to go to the Spice of Life Fair anyway. I was excited to taste some of the food there and to talk to some of the vendors. I listened to some music. And I listened to some other music. And some more music. These guys were really great. Anyway, since I didn't have anywhere to sit and I didn't do like this guy, bring my own seat, I decided to walk around and look at some of the food. Some of the food looked really good. And some of it uh, not so great. For me anyway. But then I discovered Tutmak coffee. Wow, that is good. That is amazing. Is this isn't this not chocolate? No, it's more less. So good. But mm. it has more caffeine. It actually has the best of both worlds. Wow, that is absolutely some of the best coffee I've ever had. Thank you. I'm not an expert. And it really was absolutely amazing cold coffee. These are non-alcoholic beverages made from California wine grape juices. We make uh, Pinot Noir, Chardonnay, and Rosé soda. Part of the idea came from when my wife was pregnant with our first child. And we, yeah, we tried some of the non-alcoholic wines and they're awful and uh, I just noticed she didn't have as many options right. on the non-alcoholic side so you thought, okay. when I decided to start my own business this is my best idea. So this is the rose. Yeah, okay. So what are you, you mixing wine? This is, mm. These are non-alcoholic and they're made with the juice. Now I'm not big into wine with no alcohol in it, but this was actually mm. very good tasting. We'll see. Very good. It's not, Mild. Are these yes, they are. Nice. Nice. Oh, oh, also, just kind of tuck the rice in, so you kind of play with the rice a little bit here. I'm a I also learned a little bit about sushi making. She just smashes it. <laughs> hold it in place. As I hold it in place, I just want to lift the frame up here, up over the press. Box. Right here. So it's a nice firm roll from end to end. Ingredients are centered. Probably what's best is if you make a bunch, they're all going to be pretty much the same size. So that's pretty much the basics of how they would work. And of course, that was the oyster experience. Okay, here we go. I'm gonna try an oyster. My first one. Wish me luck. Actually, I was being nice. I'm probably not gonna try it again. Boy, man, that tasted terrible. <laughs> anyway, my first oyster. 